exempt. Hey folks, this is Shaka. We're in the chat room and um, Dr. Cameron's here and he's the guy that um, I debated and he said after looking at all the arguments he is a Christian now. So he's going to get on the mic because everyone was saying I made up the story. He's about to get on the mic once elephants out of the bag quits talking. And um, so finally, uh, you'll see that it really is true. People watch our debates and they leave atheism or agnosticism and they become Christian. So if elephant ever quits talking, he, he's an atheist. Elephant's an atheist. Listen to him. And we are promoting that we should not impede nor promote religion. <laughs> Elephants in England, and he's saying we should tax the churches. Listen. Businesses. I find that just By the way, if you want to go to the chat room, click below here and click chat, but let's wait for Dr. Cameron to get on. Fixed. So please, answer my question. I'm really addressing you specifically, and I want you to start with the phrase, the reason why churches should be tax exempt. Which they are currently anyway. The atheists want no other social The atheists want the church's tax. Once he gets off, Dr. Cameron's gonna come on, so is, bear with me. I want you to use that as the front of your sentence or the equivalent. Please, please explain to me why churches so all, are here's all these people um, in the exempt. chat room. And churches are some secret well not secret, some glorified. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys, he keeps talking. Pious I want um amazing buzzword. Dr. Cameron to get on because uh, he's one touch. of the people that debated me and then him and I reasoned together and he goes, you know what? All right, here he's getting on, I think. Oh, Micah got on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying about the equality thing. It, was, Bear with was, me. Was Mike, I don't want to take it so much. I'm sure that, okay, well, uh, the, I understand what you're, saying, what you mean about the equality thing. For example, you're saying, well, you know, if... That's my friend Micah. Micah's cool. If, um... You know, if every other business in America... Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, you got to wait right? for this. Uh, so, Dr. Cameron's going to talk after Michael. See, so you, you see, this is what's funny. You're trying to do the wrong thing here. See, you want there to be equality, right? See, but you want there to be equality as in everybody pays income tax. Why don't you make it equality as in everybody does not pay income tax? Why don't you make it like that? You see? Mike is a Christian, you, you can have it both ways. and you he's talking. Quality, right? See, this is what's awesome about this well, room, guys. I'm turning the volume down. You up. click right below here, and you go to uh, the chat room. It'll say okay. chat room. <laughs> and you could <laughs> you, know, you could really take part I mean, in these conversations. God forbid they don't it's steal great. money from a church and, and give it to somebody else. You know, God forbid they don't do that. So here's Dr. Cameron. Yeah. Where'd he go? Right oh, here. you're right, theoretically. There's negative effects, right? Yeah, right. And like, so he's like going to be no getting on the microphone, we hope, yeah, uh, next. Right. You know, up until 1862. And finally he'll get to say no why he's uh, Did you know that? becoming a Christian. I don't know if you knew that or not. Uh, they used the, they implemented it These to, are all people in the uh, chat room. You show you how, the war. I'll show you how it and looks in the meantime since the they're talking. On the left side are all people in the chat room, right? It shows all their names. They implemented it again. And then uh, there's Dr. Cameron, okay. and then um, and here's the chat to... area here where people can chat. And then okay. if you click here, if, you know, if Europe wants to do it, then talk not. now, uh, yeah, then you could actually get on the mic and talk. In America, which we are doing, I'm, I'm assuming, and according to, to the United States Constitution, nobody should pay income tax. Okay, so I agree. There is not equality here. I, I agree. Okay, but here's the point. The, the problem in this whole equality thing is, the, the problem is not this, the problem is not that churches p do not pay income tax and everyone else does. The problem is, is that nobody should be paying income tax. Yes, like Micah, saying, preach it. Be paying in income tax, okay? No, the solution is, nobody should be paying income tax. So here's Micah. Okay. He's a friend so of mine, and uh, seem to be he's, he's a Christian. He's too, talking to the other dumb. guy. To Elephant. Go down and, and vote and push See a how they're talking back and forth. And vote for somebody that says, I say says because maybe they won't, says they will uh, get rid of the, of the income tax. Many people. There's, there's at least two people I know of who are going to be running for president in 2012. Okay? Have many different taxes. For example, when they get rid of income tax, they want to implement a, slight, a slightly higher um, sales tax. Okay? So that the, the the freedom goes back in your hands, okay? Because if you go to work, right? Let's say let's say for two weeks your paycheck is like um, say nine hundred bucks, right? 
and then you got to pay, and then after they after they take income tax, you guys would really so really uh, love this chat room. Right. So they just um, take we've met so many friends, and and, uh, and check out the flags. Uh, how, how people free. all around the world, look. How is that freedom whatsoever? And see, you say American you flag. Equality. Right, you see, this is, this is what's hilarious. Say you want equality, right? Uh, England okay, right here. So please tell me, how is it equality that they take that much money from one person and give it to somebody else, but they don't do the same thing to that person who's getting welfare? They don't take anything from them. All they do is give to them. They take nothing from them whatsoever. Okay, so if you want equality, you, you really have to address that too, okay? All right, let's see if Dr. Cameron's getting on. All right, here he goes. You guys hear me? Okay. Um, so, uh, basically, I've had a lot. I made that YouTube account uh, just briefly so I could contact Shock on um, my crossover to Christianity. Um, and the reason, so I'm, it's not very active or anything, I don't really use YouTube. But um, the reason I crossed over, and Shock was exactly right. Um, if you research, and I researched uh, very thoroughly, in-depth research of uh, Christian apologetics, I uh, read Dr. Uh, William Lane Craig's book um, this past week called Reasonable Faith, and if you really uh, approach all that stuff, the other side, the Christian side of it, with an open mind, you really research Christian apologetics, the lack of proof and evidence uh, proposed by the non-believer, atheist, agnostics, whatever, um, it lacks proof and evidence. And uh, on guard, I, I saw that one, but that's kind of reasonable faith, kind of more of a starter. But um, getting back on topic, uh, Shock was exactly right. The lack of proof and evidence uh, by the atheist or agnostic um, proves Christianity to be true and accurate. Um, what was the website? I, I went to a C, I just call it carm.org, C A R M.org. And they have numerous uh, arguments and, and answers to all the atheist arguments that they make. And um, I, my printer actually ran out of paper because I printed so many things off and put them in different folders or whatever. And I have them in my home office here. Um, and they basically answer and uh, debunk all the arguments the atheists and agnostics make towards Christianity. So I would definitely... Um, urge any agnostic and atheist to visit that website and actually research with an open mind um, the Christian theist side of, uh, wow, of the is, argument. This is awesome. So there you have it, guys. That's one of the guys that I debated, and um, he is he just went ahead and he got on the microphone, and that's Dr. Cameron, and uh, he asked me, he goes, well, he goes, do you, what books have you read that, um, that I can read? And we laid out all the proof and evidence for atheism being true. And we laid out all the proof and evidence for Christian theism being true. Uh, so, oh, Dr. Cameron's coming back on. Did you just have, who was that? Whoever that was, did you just hop in here just recently or what? <laughs> because, well, as I was saying, I, who was, who was the guy who, uh, Ask that question. How? Why did I convert? Someone asked him why he did convert to Christianity. Well, they're not gonna. Well, the reason why I convert or converted, um, like I said, because if you really uh, research Christian apologetics, they answer every argument that the atheist makes, and they provide more proof and evidence for Christ uh, than the atheist or agnostic does to refute Christ. And the, the atheist and agnostic. Um, beliefs do not provide enough legitimate proof and evidence he's right uh, for there not to be a god and like i said you need to research uh, read dr craig's book uh, reasonable faith that's <laughs> the other book. christians are really, really research preach your brother side of things with an open mind um and you and i mean i would think that if you're a logical rational individual you would lean towards uh, the theist side because the evidence is just so indisputable uh, proposed by the uh, Christian apologetic side um, th that you can't deny it. 
All right, guys, you heard it here. If you would like to see the PowerPoint presentation that uh, Dr. Cameron uh, had been shown that I uh, presented to him, click right below this video. Go to shotcanal.net. Do me a favor. Please, please click share below this video. Send it to your atheist friends. Guys, we are having people rationally look at the lack of proof and evidence for atheism and the overwhelming proof and evidence for Christian theism. And like Dr. Cameron did and a lot of these people here, there are people leaving atheism coming to Jesus Christ. So God bless you guys. This is good news. Another person becomes a Christian. And that was proof and evidence that it's true.